Hey guys, it's Jenny and welcome back to my kitchen. So everything is better with bacon, right? And this cheeseburger mac and cheese that I wanna share with you today is a family favorite. It is mac and cheese that is loaded with seasoned ground beef, cheese, and of course, the bacon. And I'm sure you're hungry now, so let's go ahead and start cooking. For this recipe, what you're gonna need is one pound of elbow macaroni, one pound of ground beef, one teaspoon of seasoning salt, a fourth a teaspoon of pepper, a fourth a teaspoon of onion powder one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon of ketchup, and a half a teaspoon of mustard, two cups of milk, three cups of shredded cheddar cheese, one cup of cooked and crumbled bacon. Optional toppings would include more shredded cheese, more bacon, and some green onions. All right, so let's get started by cooking our macaroni noodles according to the box package directions. Once it's done, drain it and set it aside. I left mine in the strainer and just used that same pot to go to my next step because less dishes is always a good thing. Next, let's cook and crumble our ground beef. Once it's cooked through, we're gonna drain the fat and then season it with our seasoning, salt, pepper, and onion powder. Now we can add in our ketchup and mustard and Worcestershire sauce. Now add those cooked and drained noodles back in your pot with your ground beef. Turn your heat to low and add your milk and then your shredded cheese. Mix well until your cheese is fully melted and evenly coated on your noodles. Now you can add your cooked and crumbled bacon. Last, I added in about a tablespoon of cornstarch. I just wanted to thicken it up a bit, and if you just let it simmer for about two to three minutes and then let it rest for about two to three minutes, you end up with that nice thick cheese sauce. That part is totally optional, so take a look at your mac and cheese, and if you feel like it needs to be thicker, add in the cornstarch. If not, you can skip that step. So once that sauce is thickened, you can serve this. I like to top it with more shredded cheese, more bacon, and some green onions. You can get the full written recipe at the diary of a real housewife.com where you can also find hundreds of more recipes just like this one. All right guys, I hope you enjoy this recipe just as much as me and my family did. And don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, and we will see you guys next time.